October 11, 2025. In the dark dawn skies over the Yellow Sea, a massive silhouette rises from a floating launch platform off China's Shandong coast. The sea is calm. The countdown echoes through the humid air. Three, two, on. A thunderous roar splits the horizon. Flames engulf the launch pad as the Gravity One, the world's largest and most powerful solid fuel carrier rocket, tears through the morning sky. China's newest creation is not just another rocket launch. It's a signal to Washington, to Moscow, and to every military strategist watching Earth's orbit. A signal that the next frontier of warfare, space, is no longer dominated by one superpower. At precisely 9.30 a.m. local time, Orion Space, a Chinese aerospace company, successfully launched the world's largest and most powerful rocket, Gravity One, from a sea-based platform off Haiyang, Shandong Province. This wasn't just any mission. On board were three satellites, one advanced optical remote sensing satellite, and two experimental payloads designed for orbital testing. The 30-meter tall rocket weighing a colossal 405 metric tons fired its solid fuel engines, generating a staggering 600 tons of thrust. Within minutes, it breached the stratosphere, placing its payloads into precise orbit, one into low Earth orbit and two into sun-synchronous orbit around 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. China's space agency confirmed complete mission success. And for Orion Space, led by chief designer Xu Guoguang, this was more than a triumph. It was proof. Proof that Gravity One wasn't just capable, it was reliable, repeatable, and ready for operational deployment. This launch followed a prior test in January 2024, but this time the results were definitive. The rocket's performance exceeded expectations, confirming China's readiness to mass-produce one of the most advanced solid-fuel launch systems on the planet. So what makes the Gravity One so extraordinary? At first glance, its design philosophy is radically different from what we see in Western rockets like SpaceX's Falcon 9 or the US Space Force's military launchers. The Gravity One is a marvel of engineering, a solid fuel carrier rocket, meaning it can be stored, transported, and launched with minimal preparation time compared to traditional liquid fuel systems. It stands 30 meters tall, roughly the height of a 10-story building, and weighs an astonishing 405 metric tons at liftoff. Its engines generate 600 tons of thrust, enough to propel 6.5 tons of payload into low Earth orbit or 4.2 tons into a sun-synchronous orbit around 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The rocket is composed of three main stages and four powerful side boosters, each equipped with flexible swinging nozzles for precise flight control a technology once dominated by Western space giants like SpaceX and ULA. But what truly sets Gravity One apart is its solid fuel core, designed for rapid deployment, simplified logistics, and survivability in wartime scenarios. Unlike liquid fuel rockets, which require complex fueling operations and can be vulnerable during pre-launch phases, a solid fuel system can be launched in minutes. In terms of efficiency and raw launch capability for a solid fuel rocket, Gravity One now holds the global record. But the real innovation isn't just in power, it's in mobility. The Gravity One was launched not from a fixed land base, but from a floating sea platform, a mobile launch site capable of repositioning across maritime zones. Why does that matter? Because sea-based launches are mobile, unpredictable, and tactically concealed a capability no other nation has operationalized at this scale using such massive rockets. It gives China an unparalleled strategic flexibility. Traditional launch sites like Cape Canaveral or Baikonur are static and geographically limited. But with sea-based operations, China can choose optimal launch angles, minimize risk to populated areas, and most importantly, conceal its launch preparations from satellite observation. This also allows the People's Liberation Army to rapidly deploy space assets without warning, a game-changer in the event of a geopolitical crisis.
Orion Space may not yet be a household name, but in the aerospace world, it's emerging as a Chinese powerhouse. Founded just a few years ago, it represents Beijing's new strategy, combining state military industrial support with private innovation. Think of it as China's equivalent of SpaceX, but with a distinctly national security-oriented mission. While Western firms like SpaceX and ULA focus on commercial and civil contracts, Orion Space operates under the broader guidance of China's Strategic Support Force, which oversees space and cyber warfare operations. The company's mission aligns with the national goal of achieving full-spectrum space dominance by the early 2030s, a goal President Xi Jinping publicly reaffirmed in multiple defense and technology speeches. Since 2020, China's private sector has accelerated over a dozen launch vehicles into orbit, proving that its domestic industry is now self-sufficient and competitive against the West. This launch didn't happen in a vacuum. It comes at a time when space warfare is no longer science fiction, it's reality. The United States Space Force is currently developing the world's first space-based anti-missile shield, while the Pentagon's satellite constellations, such as Starlink military derivatives, have been key in guiding Ukraine's war effort against Russia. For Beijing, this launch was a direct response, a demonstration that China is not only catching up but surpassing. Unlike the SpaceX's Falcon 9, the workhorse of the U.S. space industry, which is liquid-fueled, reusable, and optimized for commercial cost efficiency. Gravity One's solid fuel nature means faster reaction time, lower maintenance, and reduced vulnerability to cyber or physical attacks on fueling infrastructure. And here's the key. It's cheaper. The ability to deploy satellites at a lower cost dramatically alters the economics of space militarization. In an age where each kilogram of payload can cost tens of thousands of dollars, a cost-effective heavy launcher gives China the power to flood orbit with reconnaissance, communication, and even anti-satellite systems faster than any rival. Here's where things get serious. In a future conflict scenario, say over Taiwan or the South China Sea, orbital infrastructure will be the first target. Communications, GPS, and surveillance satellites will be attacked, jammed, or destroyed. The country that can replace or reinforce its satellite network the fastest wins the information war. With Gravity One, China can launch new satellites within hours from mobile sea platforms anywhere along its coast. Meanwhile, Western launch systems would require days of preparation at fixed, highly visible sites. This capability effectively gives China a space logistics advantage, the ability to regenerate its orbital assets faster than anyone else. Until then, that's all for today and thanks for watching.